All right, we're going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the early one-bolt brakes to the later two-bolt brakes. This here is your one bolt in the center, two bolts on the caliper bracket. You see how much larger the pad surface is, the caliper surface is. The piston is also bigger. And you have the stability of two mount bolts rather than one in the center where the caliper can walk back and forth. It's a much better brake system. Uh, 82 up. Once they figured out the brakes kind of sucked on these cars and they needed to do something, this was what they got. So, worked out pretty good. Um, they're decent. They autocross well for stock entry cars. Uh, once you get up to uh, once you get up to doing like road course stuff or some really aggressive auto crossing, then you want to move up to better brakes. But uh, this stuff's all bolt on. You need the dust shield, the caliper bracket, and the calipers for the 82 up car. The other thing this does is it allows you to get parts to fix this because a lot of the early stuff isn't available anymore. I think brake pads are about all you can get. A uh, big thing that's missing on these a lot is the shims on both sides, and you can't get the shims. You have to make the shims. You make them too tight, they get stuck. You make them too loose, they rattle all the time. It's just, it's not good. So this is a much better setup, but you have to get everything. Uh, I think 76 had a smaller diameter rotor. 76 or 77 had a smaller diameter rotor and a even di uh, a different caliper, yet still, uh, that was smaller. I know the rotor was smaller in diameter, so something to watch out for there. If you have an early, early car, you'll also have to do the later rotors.